hello, my dear gardeners. You wouldn't believe where I am today. It is magnificent New York City Botanical Garden. And this is a section where all the roses are blooming. Rosarians, this is a paradise. New York City Botanical Garden was established in 1891 and this area hosts more than 650 varieties of roses. So let's go and explore. This is how we are going to do this tour. Very often when I'm looking at the rose gardens, people don't post the names of roses. So I'm going to go around and I will try to get all the labels for you. I also will get close up of all those roses. This way everybody will have great reference. And some of the roses take the breath away by the beauty of individual blooms. But some roses are blooming with simple flowers by hundreds of stem. And they take uh, your attention by the whole display. So it's, it's a magnificent day I'm having here with my cameraman, who is my husband right now, he's filming. A lot of beautiful blooms. When I came down here, I realized that most of roses are already past their first, that excited first blooms. So as you can see, some of roses are already almost forming hips. But look at this. Oh my gosh and you know what it's hard to find labels for climbers here but this i was managed to see it is rosa rosanna and i was looking at this climber i like this color very impressed by this rose um, new york botanical garden rosarians are using the principles of integrated pest management to keep roses healthy excuse us for noises here we have an airport nearby so every three minutes the airplane is flying over our heads so it's going to be very noisy here but this rose is very healthy very impressive and rosarians here are using integrated pest management to take care of these roses with the least toxic approach if it works and then upgrade it to more serious stuff and because they are saying that they chose only very disease resistant and healthy varieties here they were able to minimize the usage of pesticides by 80 percent look at this explosion of color literally a rose puts 100 percent in its blooms very healthy looking and what is it let me see it is cherry pie mayland shrub rose filled with bees beautiful
You know what this is? This gorgeous climbing rose. I managed to get the label for you. It is apple blossom. And what I like about this rose is it has very beautiful light green foliage and those abundant blooms. It is so well showcased here. Showcased here. Beautiful. This beautiful climber or rambler, I'm not sure. You know what? It is autumn something and I really cannot get the label. I'm going to do a research on these climbing roses and tell you what it might be. Or maybe somebody of you knows the name of this rose on the fence, the pink one. And looks like there are several of them. One is three of them. Light shade pink, darker pink and brighter pink. And I have no idea. I don't have access to the labels. Ah, they are hidden by the foliage, unfortunately. Look at this miniature rose, which is used almost like a ground cover. And you know what? I'm trying to look for the label and they don't have it here, unfortunately. They do have it. Look at this. It's called Icy Drift.
I am trying, I see this rose and I think it's Jasmina rose and I'm trying to, to find the, the label and label is hitting under the leaves, you know? So I'm using my long zoom to take a picture for you of what it is. And I am going to show you this rose in a minute. Yeah, this is Jasmina rose. And this beauty is Thrive Lemon, a shrub rose, Mayland hybridizer. Gorgeous. Nature is so generous. At the first sight, when I'm looking at that climber, it looks like new dawn, but it is a little bit too pink. And I really don't see the, the label. What does it say? It says Alexandra uh, Princess de Luxembourg. Is that the correct name? I really don't know that climber, but look at it. It's tall and beautiful and flowers are nice and clean. And it, I must say it hide its, hide its dead very well, meaning the old blooms are not really unsightly there. Look at this big arch, oh my gosh, everything is so pretty here, but mm, unfortunately past its peak time. And this may be new dawn. It looks like new dawn. Ah, where is the label? Yes, it's new dawn. And now, when I finished looking at all the roses, let me tell you my two most favorites. And I'm partial kind of to nice, big, strong climbers. So these are two strong climbers. Magnificent. And now it's time to go to lunch. One more story I have to tell you. I came here with my cameraman my husband and I asked him what is your favorite rose I started talking to him about all the roses and what's what's my favorite and he said I have one biggest favorite of them all here and I said oh my gosh he does and you know what he said it's you my sweetheart isn't that sweet my husband is laughing right now so his camera is shaking <laughs> all right it was great seeing you here in New York Botanical Garden enjoy the show and if you like this day with me here in the big city please like this video and subscribe happy gardening